welcome back. My name is Jennifer, if you're new, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. I'm excited to share with you my top hair care products for 2020. I try a lot of hair care products, you guys, and you know, these are just the ones that have worked for me personally and that I enjoy using. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure it out, you know? And I would say that these are mostly suited for naturally curly haired people like myself. <laughs> I tend to love to, you know, straighten my hair and things like that, but for the most part, I'm wearing my hair naturally curly because it's easiest for me. It's how I it's what I know and I what how I know how to fix my hair. When I straighten my hair, sometimes I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Not that I don't know how to do it, but I don't know what else to do with it sometimes. So we're going to go through those best hair products and tools and all the things for those who have naturally curly hair in 2020. So how I'm going to do this is through categories. So shampoo, conditioner, tool, etc. So first up is shampoo. Now shampoo is quite difficult for me because I tried a lot of different shampoo. I've tried, you know, the purple shampoos and the hydrating shampoos and the curly hair shampoos. I've tried you know, all these different brands and <laughs> it's so funny because the one that I really like the best out of all of them, now I'm trying new ones as we go along, but the ones so far, these are all subject to change is what I'm trying to tell you. You know, like you always find something, you know, you just, these are just ones that I have liked throughout the year. Not to say they won't change, but you know what I mean. So the one that I really, really enjoy the most is this Mango and Carrot Kids Extra Nourishing Shampoo with Orange Blossom Extract. Guys, it smells amazing. It gets the job done. It is so good. I love it. It's actually a good price point. I love it because it's for uh, dry and delicate hair and it nourishes and hydrates and it's sulfate and color, sulfate free and color safe. I always try to find sulfate free products for natural curls but you know I, I really like this i love the smell it's a good price point i go through shampoo and conditioner with this massive amount of hair very frequently one thing that i try to change within my routine i used to wash my hair every single day i've tried to cut back on that now if i can kind of get away when it's when you know when it's straight it's easier to do i feel like to kind of get away with that when it's curly it's like redoing all the curls and stuff it's kind of I don't know. It's kind of hard, but I'm learning. I'm still learning. All right. So conditioner, let's get into conditioner. Now conditioner is easy. This is the Moroccan oil. It's a hydrating conditioner guys. It's really, really nice. It's the moisture repair conditioner. It's a repair conditioner. It's color safe, sulfate, phosphate, paraben free. I like it because it actually hydrates my hair. I have super dry hair and the thicker the conditioner for me, the better. I have to leave it on a little bit. It's It gets tangly very frequently just because I do have curls and I don't brush it when it's curly because it would be like poof. <laughs> but I do love this conditioner. I really have enjoyed it and I think it's great. Now the one with the kids, this one's good too. I think it's really great too. This, this one, and it smells so good. What does it smell like? Marshmallows? I don't know. The orange blossom? It smells so good. It's so good. Prep and detangler is the next category. Oh, this was so hard because I do use some detanglers. I have some that I really enjoy and then I do have some heat stylers I enjoy. There's an Orbe one I love, but I think this one kind of beat that one out. I know. It's the Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler. It does both and that's what I love about it. I like the fact that it will detangle yet kind of prep my hair with heat protectant. So that's what I like about it. It protects up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 232 degrees Celsius. I've, it's almost gone. Uh-oh. That texture spray. Mm, I love some texturizing spray. Now, my favorite texturizing spray used to be the Orbe texturizing spray, but this one has beat it out. I found one and I found out about it from Tara Lynn off here on YouTube. She was talking about this and I was like, I've got to try this. Shu Umera Art of Hair Water Wave Dry Finishing Spray. Guys, this stuff is awesome. I mean, it will just, it will poof your hair out and I love that. I am a big hair lover. I love the bigger, the better, all the things. So, and it smells 
so good. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I like a good smelling hair product. I just do. I like, I mean, some people don't like fragrance or anything in their hair care or whatnot. I like it. I love a good smelling hair product. So this is so, so nice. And I love, I, I'm really liking this brand a lot. I think some of their stuff is quite overpriced. Their shampoos and conditioners are really expensive. I haven't tried enough of their shampoos and conditioners to know if that's really worth it. But I do know that that What Away Dries Finishing Spray is really nice. So let's talk about Volumizer in kind of like a root lift. I asked everyone on Instagram, I'm like, you guys, I need a good root lifter. Like, I'm always looking for a good root lifter. And by far, ev not everyone, but the majority of people were like, you've got to try this Aquage Uplifting Foam. This stuff is amazing. Amazing. Y'all did not steer me wrong on the Instagram. <laughs> so this is so nice. I love this uplifting foam. I think it's it lasts a pretty good amount. I bought mine off, I think, Amazon. And it wasn't like a terrible, you know, price tag or anything like that. I mean, a lot of the products that I do like to, I, I don't like to spend like a ton of money for hair care. But if it's going to do what it says it's going to do, I do, I do love a good, you know, high-end hair care product. I can't, I cannot lie, but I do love a good kind of more affordable hair care product as well. This one's kind of in the middle. I would say it's in the middle. It's nice. Okay, kids shampoos and conditioner. Uh, okay. I have a category for kids shampoos and conditioners because that's, you know, I do have I have kids. This, I will say the shampoo and conditioner is so good for my kids. The only thing is, is I wish that it came in a pump. I think you might be able to buy pumps. I'd have to look at that, but I think I, I really like this line for, you know, my daughter and my son. My son actually has a ton of hair, a ton of hair. So dry shampoo is the next category and I cannot say I have a favorite. I cannot say it yet because I'm trying out different ones. The living proof one is not my favorite, quite honestly, because it leaves like a massive white cast in my hair. I've tried, um, I am trying the Moroccan oil dark, like there's a dark version for dry shampoo and that seems to be working okay. If you have this suggestion for a dry shampoo that you absolutely love that won't create this massive white cast in my hair, please let me know. I'd love to know what your favorite dry shampoos are in the comments below. I don't use a ton of dry shampoo just because my hair doesn't get quite that oily, but if I'm working out or whatnot, then it's kind of sometimes when I would throw some dry shampoo in there, if that makes sense. So let me know. I kind of left this one blank because I don't really have faith. I can't, I can't tell you a faith that I don't have one. And that's okay. That's okay. That's how we like all, that's, that's what we all are here for is to help each other out, right? <laughs> I need some help. <laughs> restyler. Now, when I say restyler, I'm talking like, I need to freshen up the curl. I need it to like, I need to freshen it up. It's kind of like flat, if that makes sense. So I love this. I love this. Love this. This is the Kristen S signature hair water now some don't like the fragrance in this i can i love it i love the fragrance in this and i love this because it kind of gives your hair the moisturizing element i and it's the mist is so fine the mist is amazing and it just kind of like lavens it up and then i'll take take a diffuser to it and then it will just plop it right back up guys and it's so nice so i love this Kristen s the hair the hair water i know it sounds sounds silly to buy hair water it smells amazing though and it's funny on the back it's like why do i need hair water and i'm like can i just use water from the faucet and it says no it's not the same the reason this hair water is so special is because it comes out in a super fine consistent mist what makes all is what makes all the difference and i completely agree I think it's amazing. It does contain zip up technology. Their proprietary strengthening complex designed to zip up split ends while targeting weak areas to the hair, smoothing appearance of damaged cuticles and helping to protect their environment stressors, stress, stressors and color fades. So it does have some technology in it as well. It's just not pure water. So there are ingredients on the back that you could probably see. Let me see. Can you see that? It's not pure water, guys, so you're definitely paying for some of the technology within it as well. 
okay, mousse. I've been trying a few different mousses. <laughs> mousses. I like this one. I don't think it's like my all-time favorite. I don't think it's probably worth the money, but I'm going to share it with you guys just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm using. Like I said, I don't think this is my all-time favorite. I haven't found that one yet. I haven't found the one. I've been using though this Virtue Volumizing Mousse. I really do like the Virtue products. I think they're nice. I think they're very expensive though. I don't know. If, I don't feel like this is quite worth the money. It's nice. It's good. It's it's okay. It's what I'm using now. If you guys have a suggestion for mousse, I'd love to know that too because I'm constantly always on the lookout for a good mousse. I like mousse more than I like gel and I like it because it makes it kind of more less crunchy in my hair for my curls but and it volumizes it and gives it a little bit of like little volume you know. Did I just say that? I said that already. <laughs> Ooh, oil. Let's do oil. So oil is hands down Moroccan oil. I really do like the Moroccan oil line. I think it's such a beautiful line. I love the smell. I think the oil's nice. It does not take a lot. I feel like these little oils just last me forever. They're great for travel. I have a bigger one, of course, in my bathroom, but this is one I have here. I love this oil. I think it's great. I actually have one here too. Do I have one right here? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's so funny. Isn't that funny? Okay. Anyways. It's great. It's hydrating. It's good. Sometimes I'll put it in like overnight and then I'll rinse it out in the morning and it's just so nice. I like it a lot. Ooh, let's talk pomade. Now I always use a pomade for my hair. I'm trying out a new pomade. The shoe, I'm trying out a shoe mirror pomade. I, um, I like it so far. It's good. But one I really, really enjoy is this Lanza one. It's the healing style taffy. Guys, this is so nice. It is sticky. I mean, if you want to hold, this stuff is so good. Now, I use a different one for my son, and I think we talked about that before, but this, guys, is, it is sticky. Yes. Like, yeah. And I love a good, I love a good hold. I do. And it helps with the bottoms of my hair because the weight of my hair pulls the curls down. And it, this just helps to kind of give a little bit more just more more of a defined curl on the bottoms of my you know the ends of my hair and then it will also keep the volume too in my hair I really love it and it's not too much to where it like it gets like clumpy in your hair just use a little bit and you like go like this and I literally go like just what I had done and it's fabulous it's so good I really really enjoy it it does not take a lot I've had this for a long time and it does protect against heat and UV rays and manipulates and twists and to create movable styles. Definitely does. And it provides 500 degree Fahrenheit, 260 degree Celsius thermal protection. And it improves styling control. So I will use this, guys. I'll use this to help, like, to help style after I've diffused my hair. I do diffuse my hair. Or I'll use it while, like, I'll put the mousse in and then I'll put this in when it's wet. And then I'll, I'll diffuse it too and then kind of use it to kind of manipulate and clean up the, the rest of the hair after it's been diffused. Does that make sense? So, yeah, I really like that. Hair mask. I have just gotten into the world of hair masks. I have one here that I really have enjoyed. It's the Shoe Amira Art of Hair Urban Moisture, or Urban Moisture Hydro Nourishing Treatment for Dry Hair. I really like this because it's super hydrating for my hair. I'll post a picture here of a more affordable mask that I've really enjoyed. I'll post it right here. It was great too, but they're, they're a little different. Like I feel like this one is super, super, it's a, it's fabulous. It's so good, but is it worth it? It's subjective. I have to be honest. I, I really liked the sample I got. <laughs> I had a sample. I tried it. I loved it. I purchased this and I I love it. I really do like it a lot. I mean, I do. I, I like it. I like it. Ooh, best hair accessory. Okay. These hair ties by Silk. We talked about this. They're like the best 
best hair ties, guys. I love them. They're not pulling on my hair. They're holding my hair, like honestly. And they, someone was asking, you know, how long do they last? Do they stretch out a lot? I have not had issues at all. I mean, I've had mine for like three or four months now that I've like consistently used them and I have not had any issues. You know how some will, like the regular hair ties, like two, three dollar hair ties, you know, you get them packed. That's what I used to use and they would break. I have not had issues at all with these. As for care, they can be, there's care instructions on the slip web, website on how to care for these and how to wash them. So just, just an FYI. Uh, oh, I meant to do best shine spray. Okay, I've tried a few different shine sprays, but this one takes the cake. It's the Organic Pure Care Hydrating Shine Spray. It's avocado jojoba. It is fantastic. Now my salon sells this. I'll try to find it online, but this is so good guys. It's so, so good. It's it like instantly, it gives such a fine spray, but look, it instantly gives this gloss to your hair and it smells so good. It smells like, it smells like the beach. Yeah. So. All right. The best hair tool you guys is the Dyson hair dryer. I use the Dyson hair dryer almost every single day, even if I'm restyling my hair. I love it. <laughs> so, I know it's an investment. I just really like it. Now, I bought this one last year during, I think the Sephora sale or Ulta, maybe Ulta had a sale. I can't remember, but it is so good. I love it. I love the diffuser on this, especially for my hair. I can control the heat settings. I love a good cool blast and I love the design of how the cool blast is right here. So when I am holding it, I can just press it. And then the heat settings are controlled right here. And then for me, I don't try to use like a ton of heat on my hair because the more heat, the more frizz for me personally. So I always try to keep it kind of lower and then, you know, we'll blast or, you know, the cool blast and things like that too. I have been using this for a year now and I love it. I do love it. The hair dryer itself is not heavy, but it is pretty, you know, intense cord here. It does get hot though, you know, like it does come with like a heat protector thing you can lay it on. Definitely use that because it does get hot. It's just a good, you can, it comes with attachment. If I were to blow dry my hair straight, then I would use the other attachment for it. But this, I mean, pretty much I'm always using the diffuser, especially for my curls. Oh, okay, so last but not least, something I discovered this year is this hair towel. Now this is, <laughs> I was trying to find a category for it because it's, is it like hair towel? I don't know, maybe, maybe. It's not really a tool it's kind of like an accessory but not really an accessory because like I would consider this an accessory okay anyways I digress this is the best hair towel I have found so far I love this by Aquas it is like this towel and you put it on your head so when my hair is wet I'll use this I'll put all of my products in my hair so I'll put my vol my volumizing mousse and then the taffy and then you know my hair's uplifting foam if I want to use that that day whatever I'm using for the day I will style my hair and then I will have all these you know curls like clumps and then I put this on and it, I just leave it on my head while I'm doing my makeup or while I'm doing you know cleaning around the house or whatever so my hair will start to start to dry and it's actually pretty fast drying and I really like it because it isn't heavy on my head like if I were to wear a regular towel or something like that on my head just to kind of you know sometimes I would just put one on around my head just to kind of prevent the water from dripping everywhere or whatnot it gets really heavy so I thought you know I would try something like this and see if it worked so I bought one I heard so many people really like it I just love it. I think it's just a game changer with how I fix my hair and then also with the curls. It just keeps the moisture in the curl, yet it's drying the curl too. It's quite an interesting concept. Easy to uh, wash and just throw it in the wash machine and then I just like hang it to dry. It's really good, guys. I love it. So those are the things that I have just been enjoying or, you know, I just thought it was like kind of fun to categorize them and you know if others want to do it it'd be fun to kind of see what your category picks are that would be kind of fun right like a little tag video or something I don't know but I do want to do my firefly wishes for today gosh it's almost over can y'all believe it's almost it's 
it's almost over. All right, here's the joy bag. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is so fun. So today we are going to do an aquas towel. Yes, you guys are gonna be able to go home with an aquas towel if you win the Firefly Wishes Advent Calendar. Of course, if you don't know what the Advent Calendar is, it's where I've put together all of my top picks for the first 25 days of December and this is in it. In order to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed and if you'd like to have an extra entry, then all you have to do is share you watching the video and just tag me at just glow firefly on Instagram or whatnot. I love seeing you guys share. So I just, it's just so fun to see. And I really appreciate you guys being here. All right, y'all, that, that concludes today's video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell to be notified of my latest video. Again, thanks for watching. I'll leave my latest video right here and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye y'all.